Shalom, you all, and welcome to Religion Link TV, where my spiritual ears stay. Hey, you all, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being a part of my live stream or um, upload record today. So basically, we're going to go ahead and talk about some things on this channel that we did that were on to something here. Some new content, some original content, some content that makes sense to everybody and can apply to everybody and not just specific individuals to benefit themselves, right? So hopefully we can get the music going. There we go. Shalom, you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, hey, hey. It's your girl, Religion Link TV. It is Religion Link TV. I'm your girl, Spirituality, and my spiritual ear today. Guys, I want to talk to you today about this guy, but I want to do it live. So this is just like a promo or an introduction of what we're going to talk about. So basically, please go over to my channel, subscribe, like, share, comment, and, you know, tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend about what Religion Link TV is doing over here and about what spirituality is saying. Thank you. So now back to this guy right here. I have the edited face there because I can't overlay yet. So I'm working on overlay. You understand what I'm saying? I'm working on overlay, you guys. But the thing of it is, I edit out the face, just copyright to whatever. I don't want to insult anybody. But I heard this gentleman say something. <laughs> and I don't know if I should let you hear it now, in this video, and then go live, or make you watch this video, and then let you play it, let, play it for you live. Let's see how it goes toward the end of it. But again, before we do, let's pay some bills. Get over to teespring.com, please. You can pick up a t-shirt, a mug, a hoodie. Wink stars, we lace over here, shining our light bright. And we looking at you side eye if you're the evil of the world, killing, stealing, and destroying God's people and mankind for that matter, right? So we want to go ahead and get back into what I want to talk to you about today. That would be food stamps versus this man, Larry Nelson. My God, my God, my God. I happen to hear something, you all, that pretty much threw me over the edge today. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe he said that. Now, this is in a fun way. I'm not here picking on Mr. Nelson in no way, shape, or form. Or on food stamps, because I remember the times when Mama sent you to the store with a note. In a ten dollar bill or a five dollar bill or some ones as you see up in the top right hand corner but this man here seems to say that food stamps are ghetto and bragging about them are ghetto as well you're watching religion link tv i am your host spirituality and my spiritual ears stay ringing for great debates like this you all so basically, what I want to do is just talk to you about what I heard. So I had clicked on this man's video and said she lost her job update like that. I listened to the video, but then I got to about the 7 minute and 40 something mark. And I don't, I'm not sure. I'll get the timestamp before I go live. And um, I heard him say bragging about food stamps is kind of ghetto. Uh, who would do that? And he said, no disrespect to people who get food stamps. I'm just saying, okay, something to that effect. So, why don't I go ahead and insert it here. Let you guys hear it for yourselves. Bragging about food stamps. I don't even... One second. Bragging about food stamps. I don't even see people who are on welfare bragging about food stamps. That's that's and that's really a ghetto thing. No, I'm not. No pun intended for people who get food stamps. Okay. One more time. Bragging about food stamps. I don't even see people who are on welfare bragging about food stamps. That's that's and that's really a ghetto thing. No, I'm not. No pun intended for people. Get food stamps, okay? 
One more time for the people in the back. Right, right. Food stamps. I don't even see people who are on welfare bragging about food stamps. That's, that's and that's really a ghetto thing. No, I'm not. No pun intended for people who get food stamps. Okay. All right, now, so you guys heard that for yourself. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Nope, I'm not going to close out of that. We may need... Oh, I closed out of it anyway. We'll get it again. I have it. Don't worry. It's on one of my receipts in one of my receipts folder. Getting back to the food stamps. For the love of God, did this man's mom, family grow up on food stamp? Kin folks, uh, baby mamas he dated, uh... Uh, sister, cousin, brother We've all had someone I was on food stamps at one point in time I told you all I have a 26 year old daughter She's in college right now for paralegal She's a certified security guard officer But she's not working as one She just had surgery on her right hand Her left hand Her left foot Since November of last year And she's still recovering from her foot Which was done in March Right? So hear what I'm saying, people. She gets about $500 in food stamps. I lost my job January 10th. And even with me working full-time, 40 hours, she was able to get her food stamps. So when I lost my job, her food stamps pretty much went up for some reason or whatever. But she still gets food stamps in her own caseload or her own, you know, her own case, her own family of uh, income or whatever. I don't get food stamps, but I eat good every day off of food stamps. And let me just show you guys now that food stamps, they generally come now in these EBT benefit cards. State to, to state to state is definitely different, but the one in the left hand upper corner is what New York State EBT cards looks like. Okay, so let me find where I was. How about we just go ahead and go here and talk about how this man said what he said. Now, he said what he said, and we're only going to debate it today. I want one person to call in for food stamps, one person to call in for Larry Nelson somewhat against food stamps because there's a lot of house niggas in this world who's not privy to food stamps but let me tell you one thing you old house niggas of this world like oprah's and the tyler perry's and everybody else of this world no disrespect to any black man that made it but you don't look back on your communities the way you should to an extent the only reparation we may get as the descendants of the slaves is free welfare is uh, low income health insurance that some people still have to pay for depending on how much they make is low income housing section 8 HUDs and programs like that is affordable housing programs for first time home buyers and these grants out here so what are you talking about people don't shun what people who haven't, you know, grown above certain standards in life can't afford to do. If Listen, let me just go ahead and show you this real quick. This is what they want to happen. No food stamps, no free housing, no welfare, no education, and no free health care. Then what are you going to do? Are you going to take care of your mother, your grandmother, your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, people just coming out of prison who need these assistance? Single mom, single dad, single people, period. Shit. They only paying seven to ten dollars an hour for a a a a a um minimum wage and you can't even feed yourself off of that, let alone a family of four. Oh, come on somebody. Let's act like we gonna walk through the states right here in America that snap. Is the Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, formerly known as the Food Stamps Program, enroll as percent of county population. So you can see there, I really don't have it blown up on my end, but you can see the percentage there. You can see the states that 
do and what percentage they offer this program. The problem with the black community is, and people like Mr. Larry Nelson, they're too proud to go down to the governmental assistance and ask for help. I'm that way. I've gotten food stamps in the past, but I walked away from it years ago. Cash as well, because when you go down there, they act like they own you. And then they lie on you. I had four cars on the road at one time before, right? I'll tell you that story. But they, every time I go, if I needed help over the years, losing a job or whatever, this particular time, I refused to go down there for anything because my daughter was here with the food stamps and a little bit of money welfare government assistance was giving her and her kids. She was able to manage to keep the lights on and the roof over our head with what she got, okay? Shame on the people that feel that these assistance, uh, governmental assistance programs is hurting people and shaming people. Got you out here talking about people like low peasantry or, you know, like the low hanging fruits or bottom feeders of the world. I do not get that. So, you know, once you realize that your state is going to go ahead and uh, provide a 1-800 number for food stamps or you have to go down to your local department of social services to apply apply for the application it generally goes and I pray I pulled that up but if not I'm gonna take the time to add it in here because it needs to be added in right now guys bear with me this is something I could talk myself through it pull it up as we speak but I want to show you what the percentage is for um i meant what the ratio is one person with the income guideline is two people with the income guideline is i thought i had pulled up income guideline as you see i'm getting so much better with presentation again and it'll take me a moment just let me find it click on it click on it say okay voila it's up in the corner. How about that? And I'll be able to pull it over the application as so. Okay. And now, people in your household size, one person. Now, I don't know when this last was updated or what year these numbers came out. But pretty much a person that makes about $1,634, you can get about $194 in benefits. And that's kind of correct. On one of my jobs I was working, I remember getting that amount. And I remember when I wasn't working and went down there, I was getting that amount. I've gotten food stamps in the past, about four years now, five years now. I, I refuse to get any assistance. I went down there to get help, my daughter did, for the security for us to move. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Some of these things are about the only free assistance, reparation, handouts, uh, thank you for being a black citizen in America card we are ever going to get from the government. So be grateful that some of your family members and people can use the system. Not abuse it. There's abuse on the rise with these government programs. But not abuse it. Use it to benefit them to get out. So a family of two, 2203, they'll get about 330, that $357. A family of three, 27, 20, 72. I said my daughter get around 500, right? She probably gets the 511. She's a family of three. But it feeds a family of four. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how it wouldn't. You understand what I'm saying? A family of four, which I'm not on her welfare case and I don't have one of my own. So we would not be at an income level of 3342 getting 649. Not at all, but I'm going to get to somebody who is. A family of five, $3911, A family of six, $4480, Now, you can imagine if the families aren't making half of what the monthly gross income limits are, they're still going to be eligible for that SNAP benefit each month, if not more. A family of seven, five thousand forty-nine, and they will be able to get one thousand two hundred two, one thousand twenty-two dollars in benefits. Hello, and you know minimum wage is not paying that much, but rather you work two jobs, three jobs, 
Go get you some assistance. If you work in a second job because you're trying to feed a family of four, on your one income, a family of four, you're probably eligible for four or five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars in food stamps if you're not making over three thousand a month. I know that's a little bit of money. I know that's a little bit of money. But at the same time, people, the un uh, the minimum wage rates are low, are, high, are, are low. Housing expenses is high now. They take a lot of that into consideration. So a family of eight, $5,619, $1,169. Then for each additional um, person, you add $569 in income and add a total of $146 to that SNAP benefit. I have a sister with eight children. All of them do not live with her now, but it was a point where she had the majority of them in her house and she worked and still got benefits. Based on the monthly gross income, according to the people in your household, determines the SNAP benefits you will receive. I will not shun myself on this at all. So now let's go ahead and get back to me, <laughs> guys. So I want to have the debate. Food stamps are not. What's hurting the people? Why people are hungry? People angry because they're hungry. I believe people angry. They hangry. They hungry. Angry. Angry because they hungry. Hungry because they angry. And they just some miserable people. Get yourself some food stamps, some SNAP benefits, supplemental nutrition, nutritional assistance program. That's what I call it. Get yourself some benefits right now, people. How embarrassing is, is it you work in two, three jobs, try to feed your family when you can get some free benefits based, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, based on your income. I'm not gonna edit that out, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. It takes too much to put this over on Windows Movie Maker and all that stuff. Listen to me, people. Welcome to Religion Wing TV. I'm your host, Spirituality. And we're going to get into it live this evening, East Coast time. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Let's talk about food stamps. Matter of fact, before we go, people, we're at the 16th minute mark. I do have something pulled up here, okay? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and let the music rock out. Low in the background and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read to you something about food stamps via Wikipedia I didn't do too much research on it I just pulled up a little article and I'm gonna go ahead and give you some information some content um, we won't get too in depth on where the original um welfare system started we'll save that for the for the live but we will get into supplemental nutrition assistance program via wikipedia and i don't see the date when it was written but the supplemental nutrition assistance program snap formerly and commonly known as the food stamp program provides food purchasing assistance for low and no income people living in the United States. I believe it's outside of the states as well. It is a federal aid program administered by the United States Department of Agriculture under the Food and Nutrition Service, FNS, Food Nutrition Service. Though benefits are distributed by each U.S. state division of social services of child and family services, most companies, uh, most families, recipients of uh, food stamps have to go to the Department of Social Services and and or the ch Children and Family Services, one or the other. Or you can call a 1-800 number. You can do it over the phone. I'll provide all that information uh, in the live. SNAP benefits supplied roughly 40 million Americans in 2018. Approximately 9.2% of American households obtained uh, SNAP benefits at some point in, during 2017, with appro 
approximately 16.7% of all children living in households with SNAP benefits. Beneficiaries and costs increased sharply with the Great Recession, peaked in 2013 and have declined through 2017 as the economy recovered. It is the largest nutrition program of the 15 administered by FNS and is a key component of social safety net for low-income Americans. Now, do you guys not remember Rachel Dolezal? First she wanted to be black. Then she wanted to be black down with the NAACP. Then she wanted to be black down with the getting the hair done and the dark skin. And hell, they even said she wanted to be so black she went to the food stamp office and lied on her application. Don't be putting that stigma on all black people because black people definitely don't all try to get over on the government program. But we know this is the only way we're going to get any help from them for the suffrage we suffered through civil rights, slavery, and or the persecution of Constantine in 70 AD. So let's continue to read. The amount of SNAP benefits received by a household depends on the household size, income, and expenses. For most of uh, for most of its history, the program used paper denominated stamps or coupons worth $1 brown, $5 blue, $10 green, bound in booklets of various dominations, denominations to be torn out individually and used in single exchange. There's a system way before this. We'll get to it live. Because of their one-to-one -one value ratio um, with actual currency, this coupon were printed by the uh, Bureau of Engraving and Printing. They can make what they want to make. Their rectangular shape resembled a U.S. dollar bill, although about one half the size. Included in Talagio printing on high-quality paper with watermarks in the late 1990s. The food stamp program was revamped, with some states passing out actual stamps in favor of specialized debit cards, swiping systems, the EBT cards I showed you, right? Known as Electronic Benefit Transfers, EBT, provided by private contractors. EBT cards implemented in all states since June 2004. Okay, so all states have them now different varieties and different brands. Each month, SNAP benefits are directly deposited into the household of ET EBT card account. Households may use EBT to pay for food at supermarket, convenience stores, and other realtors, including certain farmers markets. Now here's the thing I want to tell you. I had a picture. It says we take EBT here at the liquor store. We accept food stamps. I'm like, nah, we're not going to go there because some people abuse the system by cigarettes, by weed, sell them, get, you know, you have $100 food stamps, people sell them for $50 and things like that. It's like whatever the value of the food stamp is, you get half that in cash. So it goes down all the time, believe you me. My daughter, however, does not do it. She's very good with her money. She's about to move out in um, September. And I'm sure she's going to get more than, than, what, um, than what she's getting. So I'm back on. That was enough of that reading right there. We're about 23 minutes in. I'll go to about 25 minutes. Let me see what else I can show you guys. Um... Go ahead, get yourself over to uh, Amazon.com and pick up a book for whatever your reading needs are. Whether it's Christmas books, baby books, Black Lives Matter, A Call to Repentance, Beyond Some of the First Protests. And of course it would not be worth anything going over there if you could not get your spirituality. That's spiritual writings as well. Christianity. Uh, the Black Messiah. I do it all, guys. So, this is your girl, Spirituality, and my spiritual ears. Stay <laughs> ringing right over on Amazon.com. 
talking about and, and writing about the things we talk about here. So let's go on and move along, guys. How's everything looking to you thus far? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and call it a day with this video. But before I do, you all, if you feel the need to support this channel in any way, please, 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 please PayPal me at religionwingtv.com. Um, excuse me, religionwingtv. And at PayPal, Drew L. Murray 50. Thank you. I'm so tired between packing and moving and everything else. And at the end of the day, there's some people like Trump that wants to take everything. Because Trump knows that we are the real people. And he doesn't want to give us reparation. He wants to keep that unearned suffering going on to our people. Some people like Larry Nelson is stuck in the conditioned ways of Christianity, allegedly. That they're not woke to the fact that this is what's going on. It's killing our people off. Take the food stamps away and then give us a food box. None of us like. None of us can benefit from. And it's not even the food we should be eating. Why do we always want to let them give us choices or take our choice away? And then force their way of life and their choice upon us. So, no food stamps, no free housing, no welfare, no education, no free, excuse me, no food stamps, no free housing. All housing is paid for now. No help, no Section 8, no low income, uh, high rise terrorists, no elderly, uh, you know, subsidized living, no welfare, period, no Medicaid, no welfare. No cash assistance if you happen to lose your job or the loved one in your family who's been paying all the bills and no longer do, there to do it. You won't go get yourself some help down there to the welfare office. Wow, shame on you people. That's why our community is hurting. Shame, you shame, you shame. Your pride. Man, listen. So he's also saying no free education. Well, hell, we haven't been getting truthful education anyway. And who wants to keep being educated by the oppressor? And no free health care. That goes with the welfare, the cash, the money, uh, the food stamps. They want to eliminate it, kill you all, because they know that most of you have been miseducated. Even if you're educated. A lot of educated people can't go out and get the job in the field that they want. And a lot of people are not educated and been miseducated through the public school system and don't desire to work and just want to be a yes man, yes master, yes sir, yes master, slave mentality and, and, and continue to hurt themselves with their attitude when it comes to governmental assistance. So, guys... It's your girl. <laughs> it's your girl. Spirituality. I hope this video have helped you on this camera. And have helped you up there. For the most part, the rest of the world as well. We have to have these conversations and get into, you know, get into just what it is we out here seeking. If it's reparation in small and part, there's free programs out here from the government. You can even get a cell phone for free, people. But just shun and look at that. But let me tell you something. I'd rather get what I can from the government right now the way it is than sit and wait on reparation for the whole Black Adels community. Get what you can now, people. Because these people have been waiting for reparation since the days they set foot in America and have not got it yet. Get what you can, people. Now, with that being said, we're going to come back live. This is your girl, Spirituality. You are watching Religion Link TV. We're going to go ahead and let this music run out. Enjoy the rest of our evening. Evening, excuse me. We're going to come back and get, uh, go live. I want one person to call in for food stamps. One against it. That kind of feel like Larry Nelson. The people who get food stamps shouldn't abuse it or brag about it and things like that. But at the same time, all I want to hear about is, should your family be getting food stamps? And 
I want to hear the other side. Families should not be getting food stamps. People need to work. People need to stop abusing the system. And that's it, people. We keep it simple around here because when you start calling everybody name and all this, other people get involved in what you got to do. And they don't need to be involved in your business. And, you, and I say I mind my business so your business don't mind me. But you're all welcome to come over here and have this conversation because we all know somebody that's had food stamps that Larry Nelson may be talking about. But again, like I said, I didn't get the clip. This clip right here. Hopefully we can hear it one more time before the music go off. I didn't get this clip right here to embarrass him or to, to you know, make uh, make light of anybody he was talking about. In general, we all have someone we know on food stamps at some point in time. But it's the house niggas mentality. In the field niggas desperation that keep us confused with what the government system is all about. See, the house nigga don't give a damn whether you eat or not. Cause they in the house, they eating. And the field niggas so desperate, they out here eating everything. So people, we have to be mindful of what it is that's driving us. To do what we do for our families and not to do what we do for our families. So if I can pull this up, it would be good for you guys to hear it again to make you want to come on over to the live. But if not, he pretty much said, you know what? Oh, we almost there. We almost there. He pretty much said... Alright, I got it. Dang on shame. Dang on shame, y'all. The music just went off. Hold on. He pretty much said, you know, people who brag about being on welfare, on food stamps particularly, is ghetto. It's bragging ghetto about food stamps. Me. I don't even see people who are on welfare bragging about food stamps. That's, that's and that's really a ghetto thing. No, I'm not, no pun intended for people who get food stamps, okay? Right about food stamps. I don't even see people. You've been watching who are on welfare, TV. This is right about food stamps. That's, 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 and that's really a ghetto today. thing. No, I'm not, no pun intended for people who get food stamps, okay? <laughs> 